I wanted to do this video. I was afraid to make this video, but I am so cold to make this today. So I hope you will benefit from it as I feel it is time to share uh, distant healing with you, uh, shamanic healing uh, for all of us. So I'm recording this on the 2nd of June. Oh, there is a, a riot in America. Uh, we all watched um, horrific murder of a very beautiful soul. Um, and it awakened and it's disturbed all of us. Um, and many, many people are opening their heart and this is an amazing uh, power of healing that can lift us to the next level. Uh, but there is so much pain with it, and uh, there's so much guilt with it. Uh, I don't live in America. I'm Galita, by the way. I live in Holland. I am not black. I'm not white. Somewhere I probably am both, because uh, brown people are somewhere. <laughs> I come from Israel, I'm Jewish, I'm a woman. I identify with a lots of persecuted groups, but I also learned to heal and to investigate the healing of the, of the European thinking. Um, and that's why I decided to make this video because there is so much pain on both sides. And when you want to heal, when you want to bring yourself to the next level, you have to deal with your light and your shadow. And this was my work for many years. Uh, and I wanted to share with you something today that will help you personally to take any guilt you have because I feel guilty and I didn't kill anyone and I don't live in the same continent and I have no influence, but because we also know that we are one, we all feel some kind of a burden. And I was talking to a few people, a lot of lovely, amazing people that have their ancestry uh, conflicting with their way of life now. They feel they are ashamed of something that happened to them. They are from being the prosecutor or the prosecutor, the victim or the perpetrator. And um, this is the time for us to realize that as we live in duality, as we are moving from third dimension to fifth dimension, we have to bring ourselves into understand that we only can work with both in order to bring ourselves to the next level. So on an individual session, integrating our ancestors' pain and poison, because we got, we got both, all of us, every person on the planet is connected to both. So I wanted to have a little session just to relieve ourselves from this excruciating pain so we can open another chamber of our heart to feel. So in Western thinking, and as I said, European thinking is, is the one that we are ruling our Western culture. We moved very much into thinking and uh, doing. And every discussion about race will be a discussion and a debate and a yes and no and who do and who is that and who wins. But I can tell you, as speaking for the mothers and for the mothers of the earth and for the earth mother, who, by the way, came to us here uh, when I asked for some guidance, uh, we have to integrate the divine feminine in our progress. We have to, we have to connect, have to, have to, have to. No, we don't have to. We want to. And we also called to many, 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 many of the most beautiful people who are so ready to go to the fifth dimension and to share on another level, realize it's all about the union of the masculine and feminine. This is where we're going. We're going in to bring it together. And you do it with your life, with your twin flame journey, uh, with repairing inside yourself, 
I hope so. And if not, this is the journey you should be on in order to have your life complete. It's a total integration of our light side and our shadow side, our masculine and feminine, our heavenly father and our earthly mother. This is the work. This is the work to bring it into wholeness. So, so, so what are we called to do? Is to go into the heart, which is the action of listening and feeling. So many people ask me, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And this is what you can do. There will be a time and there will be people that will be doing the action in the world. It's very important to change the law, to strategically see how we do things. Um, this has its place, in the, but this is not what we're doing today. What we're doing today is bringing the balance between the doing outside and the activity and between bringing the inner world peace to ourselves. And all I ask you to do is to take care of your own healing so you can bring yourself into a breathing space where you can let go of some of the things that are pressing your ability to feel and to be in your power and accept more of your soul essence to come to you. Then you are truly helpful. You are bringing more light to yourself and that expands into your family and it is anchored in the world. We need the divine feminine in every person, men or female, to be allowed in. We need to invite this unconditional love to be present. So I would like to do a little healing for us in order to uh, bring peace into the pain and suffering we have with the painful issue of racism. Um, maybe I'll make a series of videos because there are different angles to it. But for now, uh, if you're triggered, if you think I should do something else or you feel a lot of anger, I ask you to take a breath just to take care of yourself the next 10 minutes or how long it will take. I don't know really what we are going to be doing. I'm just going to start a session as I will by listening. And I will guide you so you can expand yourself and it will be for your benefit and it will be for all of our benefit because we need you to be feeling alive, safe, uh, clear, grounded, happy in your body uh, in order for us to take this storm that we are in into the direction where we can benefit the most as a planet and as, as humanity. And there are lots of questions to answer, but on this moment, I just like us to take this 15 minutes to, to heal ourselves. So I hope I didn't talk for too long. I made here a circle. Uh, specifically for United States. So I know United States is not the only country in the world. Um, and I'm watching also other places. We will do things for other places also. But in United States consciousness, there is something that is important for the whole planet. Uh, in its consciousness, it is um, the, the point of the arrow for humanity to drive itself forward. So we need it to succeed. We need it to, to find its next direction. We need the light to win <laughs> it's not yeah we need the light to come into dark places so what we're going to do now is just you are responsible to bring the light into your dark space your pain your shadows your guilt 
your confusion and do that with love and i will do that with love and you are surrounded with whoever you agree to have but i invite here that your ancestors who wants healing who wants to share their brilliant uh gifts with you so you can go forward in your life and you can uh be what you are born to be this is the time this is the time if you didn't do this before this is the time to start you will go much faster now and this is the time for you to call your guides and realize that you are a personality and a brilliant sparkly soul and more essence of you wants to come in order to liberate your life and liberate your finances and liberate your health and liberate everyone that you love so feel that you're allowed to be selfish about that i want you to take this healing for yourself and when you do that you are a sparkle of light another one that we need in our world so this is what i'm doing today so i hope you can um, uh, join me in whatever will happen now i just want to say um i don't know where we're gonna go so please allow that to evolve and if it's not going to work um so be it but we will just trust and move to the next level of being and feeling yes okay i'm talking too much i want to show you something that wanted to be here the flower of life um so there is a seeding energy there is amongst the pain, the pain and the confusion there is opportunity to to expand ourselves so i want you to take it for yourself today to bring all this sparkly light in you okay we start with a big breath we'll take one big breath big one hold release Another breath. Stop. Release. Take another breath. Mm, wow, 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 wow. And release. Allow yourself to feel your body. Mm. Warm your healing hands. Okay. So this meditation, this healing, this prayer that we're going to do doesn't belong to any religion. It belongs to the human soul spark. We are all belong to so many different cultures and and uh, systems and but what we are doing now is universal is cosmic is the connection to our breath the connection to our body connecting to all of the levels of our body and wanting to bring more light into our physical being now and especially into our hearts that is hurting so if you can put your healing hands on your heart take one more breath I'd like you to imagine that you are standing in front of a beautiful sea. Maybe you're standing on a rock on a mountain looking at the ocean. Maybe you're standing on the beach. Just notice where do you want to be? Where are you? If you want to upgrade, that is also fine. 
be in a place that makes you feel connected to the sky and to the earth. Take this moment. Breathe the sea air. Feel the sun on your face. Feel your feet on the ground. Notice what they're standing on. Is it sand? Is it rock? Is it grass? Is it water? And allow yourself to activate your connection from the top of your head in white, unconditional, pure, high vibration light. Straight into your soul, into the creation. If you feel it's very thin, make it bigger. Breath, allow it to be more stable stream of light. And I feel that some of us are afraid of this. I want you to know that you are the commander of your own energy. And you can decide how much, and you can decide everything that needs to happen. You do it yourself. The wisdom of your higher self will guide you. Your subconscious mind knows already how to do this. Let the light come through your body, giving you clarity and confidence and sense of excitement. Let it come into your throat. Bless your throat. Clean some debris that there is there about speaking out. The best what we can do right now. A little spiral light come through your heart area. going down in spiral motion through all of your organs and your body. Know that it's a blessing. It's a gift to purify all broken dreams, all shadow pieces, all misery from the past. This light taking all of this debris down, it spiral and let it go through your pelvis, through your leg, like a big river of golden light liquid. Let it come down through your legs, through the earth, to under your legs taking all of the debris to the earth. And the earth is <sighs> drinking it, transforming it, transforming it, <sighs> digesting it, and bringing it up as pure gold. Really chunks of gold we see here. And it's coming from under your feet, and letting your soul star chakra that is under both of your feet is supporting you in a new sense. You're standing now on a golden rock. You are rich. Take it in and it comes in through your feet.
Allow it to be received by your heart. Your heart likes this gold energy. Mm. Allow it to come to your throat. Very grounded. It's gold. In its earthy form. It goes all the way up to merge with the golden light. All the way up and then come down again as liquid light. All right, so let it expand. Allow it to take more debris, some pain and trauma from the past. Allow it to take programs and pain from your family that you heard about, felt, experienced in your environment. Let the light come down again. Give the heart more space. Go to the pelvis, through the legs. Go down, just see it in your mind. Going all the way to the earth, all the debris goes in and the mother is transmuting that again into flowers. Little white, beautiful flowers are now coming up from the earth, around your legs, almost like it's making you dance. And it's going in a spiral, going up. And allow yourself to receive the light going down, the light and the symbols of flowers going out. Allow yourself to expand. This light is also one to teach you. I know how to feel safe in my system. I know how to expand my light and blessings. I feel comfortable with being in this light and expansion. Ooh, allow it to happen, breathe. Put your attention again to your feet. You can even look at your feet because you are still standing in front of the sea. Then this movement of light coming down and light going up is happening automatically like your breath. You give it into the hand of the mother and the father of your guides and higher self to continue this motion of movement that connects you from your eternal power to your earthly power. You need both. You are both. You allowed to be your magnificent self. Now take another breath. Feel the middle of your forehead. There is a green color, a stone, a stone that we have on a circle. It's opening your eye of clarity. You can see forward, you can see backwards, you can see up into the sky. You can see down into the central crystal of the soul star in the earth. Now all fears and contracts 
to cloud this vision can now be now pulled out. And effortless clarity is coming to settle down. To make you see beauty, creativity, courage, truth, justice, love, joy, opportunity, the future, the past, the upper world, the underworld. And we program this, that your clarity and vision will be for the highest and best for you. Of course, your higher self will decide what is best for you, because it's you. You are going to decide how much of it you want and in which way you want. You are the commander of your system. And this memory of your own heritage is coming back with this vision. There is another beautiful rose crystal that is coming to the area of the heart. It's very light, almost white kind of pink. And it carries in it a great love from the Divine Mother, the loving, the eternally loving Mother. When you allow yourself to receive, Allow yourself to make it grow and allow yourself to see yourself as a baby of a few weeks that is being caressed and loved and protected by a mighty and loving mother. covered in light pink, clothes and robes. And that is teaching your heart a new sensation. And how it is to feel to be unconditionally loved. 360 degrees of true motherly love. Take a breath. Allow yourself to receive this. For some of us, it was blocked to our ancestors. For some of us, it was blocked in this lifetime. Or some of us had it very, very little. And now we are taking that and allowing it to expand to the front of your body, to the back of your body, to the right side and left side. Thank you. 
Happy night. Yellow color coming here. Yellow color of joy. There's a cosmic and earthy permission to feel joy. So much guilt on the joy. Guilt or the joy that we have while we see so much suffering. Allow your joy to come in because we need it on the earth. The slower part of our body is not yet knowing what to do with this, but here it is. This yellow here, this pink here, and they mix into some kind of sound color. Let it expand. And also the back of your body, the back of your head. Okay. So just allow this beautiful this beautiful color of pink and yellow to come into the lower part of your brain where our reptilian brain is they call it this high vibration, allow it to come here and serve it into your own system as a gift to your seven generation behind you. Just make a link from here, seven generation, actually 14 generations. Just stand firm here in your body where you are and allow your belly to become a vessel for this energy. Unconditional love mixed with joy, with the golden light of creator. and the golden earth from earth. Just imagination of colors. Let them do the job. And you are just allowing yourself to bathe, to host in your belly, in your womb, your pelvis. Allow it to connect into the back of your head into seven and 14 generation. If you want, you can go back to 21, 28 generation. You don't have to do anything. It's all been done for you. Open your heart again to the crossing in order to help our Masculine and feminine, our duality come together. 
allow it to move, to flourish. Allow your vessel to grow. Allow your vessel to go all the way to your legs. You are all standing inside a vessel. That is the golden egg. It's all of your energy. You take one big breath. allow yourself to be in this unconditional love energy and light that it reminds you your essence reminds you yourself remind you your divine self connecting to your earthy self forgiveness to your earthy self and clearing of guilt clearing of fear confusion, allowing that all to be pulled out of your egg. <sighs> There's so much love for you, for taking the time to do this, as you're bringing so much light into your own home, wherever you are, into your family, into your extended family, into your tribe, wherever tribe you are from, expanding to your city, to your country, to your continent, to the whole Earth family, going further to the cosmos, where our brothers and sisters looking at us with admiration, for the cutting edge work that we do here while we are in body and in earth experience. Take it back in from the cosmos, back into earth, only pure, unconditional love and union of the divine feminine masculine perfection of love, unity, light and joy. Bring that into your continent, into your country, into your city, into your neighborhood. One big breath to your neighborhood. Mm. Breathe it to your street. To your home. See the front of your door, front door of your home, the back door of your home if you have one, your balcony, all of your windows. Bring this light inside your home, inside your house. Let's take it further. Let this next wave of light that is regenerating effortlessly by cosmos and earth come and blossom your house. See your house, see your kitchen purified and protected with gold, light of unconditional love and motherly love. Fatherly love exists, but today we're activating your motherly love. Go to your living room, go to your bedroom, to any other room, bathroom, toilet, corridor, ceiling, floor. Feel that your house is clean. Imagine that you open the windows in your house and you flush out all of the stress of the lockdown, of the old, of anything that happened there that is not of the highest motherly love possible. 
It's all flushed out and be pulled out of your house and allow your light from your heart come into your home. Bless your surrounding, bless your home, and then go back to your heart. Who You can join me if you want. One big breath. We do the how. Oh, oh. So try to vibrate as much as possible. Allow yourself. I hope you're in an environment where you can do this. Ah. Oh. Oh. Can you rise? Mm. Rise, which we didn't finish. I would like you to brush your shoulder with this energy of light in your hands one more time. Another time, and brush the other hand. Mm. Move your hands. Activate your hands again. Oh, and brush your head. Brush. Activate your head. Another brushing so of your neck. Let's close. Energy. Say goodbye to our ancestors. They're standing behind us. Keep your field. Your earth, your soul, your heart, your light. And from this moment, if you would like to take this downloads, the download that teaching you, I know how to be safe in my system. I know how to let go of the past. I know how to feel fully and to be comfortable with that. I know how it feels like to see my own beauty, to, to see the beauty in others. I know how to heal myself. I know how it feels like to heal myself. I know how to take time for myself. If you like all of this, say yes. I know how it feels like to love myself unconditionally. And I mean unconditionally. I can love myself with my failures. I can love myself with my faults. I can love myself with my wrongdoing. I can forgive myself. And I know how to commit to live, love and lead with the highest vibration I can accommodate. I allow myself to live with joy. I know how to be connected with myself. 
I know when to be connected to myself. I know to be aware when I'm not connected to myself and how to come back to myself. I know I'm worthy of the love of the earth. I know I'm worthy of the love of the cosmos. I accept this motherly love and I integrate it every day. Kenya Yiratson. And so it is be done. It is done, it is done, it is done. I want to remind you this. To see the perfection in all things. To see the unity of all things. Oh, okay. So I had a message from, from Bridget that told us about inner strength move back into wholeness, hope we did that. Recognize that you have the power, you do. We have Gaia, which is one manifestation of the divine feminine. And she talked about earth connection. Be mindful of the planet, come back to earth, stay grounded. And I would like you to take it very seriously, staying grounded. Uh, because 2020 is not finished yet. There are many things that are going to happen uh, and we need to be in our power. You know, we need to be able to activate healing and love and we have to allow the mother. Again, I said have to, we don't have to. We like to, we call to, we can. You can do what you want, you are sovereignty. We also got the card of Hilarion, interesting enough, also talking about divine healing. Honor your sensitivity. Please do that. Retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. Actually, that's exactly what we did. So thank you so much for being here. If you did the whole thing, thank you. A hundred times more. Remember that what you are bringing is so valuable in this time. We want to ascend. A big love to, to you from all, all of your ancestors and guides and me and the Divine Mother and the Divine Father. Take it in. Please take it in. Just take it in. It can be anchored. We're shifting the reality as we go every day with every breath. I hope it was useful. Please share it with anybody who can Use this to stay healthy, to stay connected, to stay loving, to cope with negativity. And I love you a lot.